You've been referenced as one of the most beautiful women in the world, often. Oh, thank you. What is beautiful to Bernadette? Well, you know, I thank you for that. But, you know, when I was growing up, my mother and father, basically my mom, she never ever told us, none of her girls, that we were beautiful or we were, the, no, no, she never did. What she did was, I think, what Martin Luther King was always talking about. It was the character, the content mm -hmm. of the character, you know, and, and that's what she stressed and my father stressed. Who are you? Why right. are you doing what you're doing? You know, um, it's your character that makes you beautiful, not the outside, because when you are beautiful, there are a lot of people who are so beautiful, much more beautiful than myself. But if your insides are not, are not nice or good or wholesome or decent, mm -hmm. you, you no longer can hold that beauty but for so long. Right. That's a good point. Uh, and that's that's probably why, you know, you've been able to keep your head on your shoulders the right way for all of this time. Because, you know, many people, when they have a, I guess, a, a reputation for being beautiful, oftentimes that's all they have. Yeah. Everything is just wrapped up in what they look like, and there is no substance. No. Yeah. And, and you only carry your beauty, but so long in the world, and then your character has to carry you to make you more distinguished, and uh, then you become beautiful. You know what I'm right. saying? You, you maintain, but it's really the character of yourself, really. Right. Mm -hmm. I saw uh, somewhere where you were miss. Brooklyn? <laughs> yeah. You were Miss Brooklyn, and then you were runner-up for Miss New York. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, how did Bernadette Stannis end up finishing in second place to somebody in a beauty That's country? right. I, I, I was second place. <laughs> I wasn't even first place. How did that happen? Like, I don't remember? know, but it happened. Do you remember and that time? I was so glad for my trophy. Let me tell you, I learned that it wasn't that pageant that really, really mattered. It, it didn't matter if I, if I was second, first, or the queen, because it was that pageant that I, uh, my mother met the manager who told her about good times. Okay. So it was by way. And I got good times by that pageant. Right. So the pageant was just there, I guess, to show, you know, the person who I am. So it didn't matter if I was first okay. or second or whatever. It was just to connect so I could, you know, move on to good times. Right. Do you remember the girl you lost to? You remember yes. her name? I don't remember her name. So you wouldn't know what she's doing now? No. Well, I bet she bragging though. I bet wherever she is, I mean, yeah, yeah both I, of them. I, I, I beat, beat her. her. I beat her. <laughs> I'm more beautiful. I beat her. <laughs> yeah. Well, you win in the end. 